You ever heard the expression, if you give a mouse a cookie? Well, let me explain. There's a children's book that is called, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. There's a whole series that, you know, once she made, he or she, the author of that book, once they got famous with that book, they made a bunch of them. But the uh, first book, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, which is my favorite, and this whole concept is like, if you give them, if you give a mouse a cookie, he's gonna want a glass of milk. And if you give him a glass of milk, he's gonna want a napkin. And if, when you open the fridge to get the glass of milk, he sees that there's some cheese in there, he's gonna want some cheese. And it just goes on and all that. So if you give a mouse a cookie, you have all these other things you have to give the mouse after he sees them and wants them. And today was kind of like that. So I called my mom's doctor and she had two prescriptions that were going to run out way before she gets to go visit him. And so they said, oh, yeah, no worries, we'll call it in. So they called in the medicine. So at lunchtime, I go to the pharmacy. And when I get to the pharmacy, said, well, what if her medicines has changed? But they don't offer to call the doctor and find out why. So I called the doctor and said, hey, just want to let you know that the prescription you called in, she, my mom was taking 20 milligrams of that medicine, and now the prescription says she's taking 10. Is that correct? Oh, well, we'll have a nurse call you. Okay, great. Here's my number. Great, we got it. Uh, nobody called. So then they call my mom and tell her, oh, by the way, we want you to come in for a test next week. Okay, all right, that's fine. And so she's like, you better call them right away because they're on the phone. They called me. So I called the doctor's office and, and talked to scheduling and said, hey, mom, my mom says you guys want her scheduled for an, a test. She wasn't real clear on what the test is. I don't know what it is. And so the nurse is like looking everywhere. And I said, it may be in my chart. I don't know. I haven't looked yet. And so she does go look and say, oh, okay. I see what test they were to take. Okay, cool. So we schedule it for next week on time when I can take her. Cool. And then um, I said, also, hey, I called earlier about her medicine and the dose is changing. And and they said a nurse would call me, but I hadn't heard from anybody yet. And I need to take her her medicine tonight. So they go and they find the nurse and the nurse says, well, I told your mom. Oh, she didn't tell me that part. So, I, so it turns out that the new dosage is correct. The doctor wants on this new lower dosage, which is great. I love anything when you're lowering the dosage on something. Um, it's amazing how many pills you take when you're old. Um, so anyway, so I go back to the pharmacy and tell them, hey, everything is okay. Hey, okay, that prescription is correct. That's what the doctor wants on her now, so I need to refill it. I need to fill it. So I get that filled. And so then I go put gas in, in the car because it seems like every time I go to my parents, the car needs gas. Uh, it's not really that far. I mean, it is, it's a good 24 minute drive there and 24 minutes back. So, yeah. So anyway, so I guess I could have went that way. Yeah, it's fine. So anyway, I uh, fill the car up with gas and so I head down to my mom's and so I am sitting down and I will tell you, you may not know this, maybe you've had this experience before. If you are using um, pill dispensers for days of the week and somebody's taking so many that it takes two pill dispensers to do days of the week, then it's like doing brain surgery. You've got to concentrate so much. And so my mom comes in and starts talking to me, which is cool. I've kind of, I was I still on track because I got the paper in front of me and I'm keeping up. But then my wife starts texting me and says, oh, what were the plans for supper tonight? I'm like, so I've got that at eight o'clock. I'm doing a sleep study, doing a sleep study. They're going to hook me up with some wires and I got to go to sleep. And so 
Anyway, so I get that sleep study at 8 o'clock. I got to be there for that. So it'd be 8.30 before I could do anything food-wise for you. So my mom has talked to me. My wife's texting me. I, I'm in the middle of doing the medicines. My mom comes in and takes her Thursday evening medicine. Okay, great. Cool. Yeah, you're right here. Let me go ahead and take that. Okay, that's great. So she takes Thursday evening medicine. And then she goes back in the other room. And she comes back in and talks to me. Then my wife's texting me. And I said, hey, why not order pizza and get it delivered? Because I'm not going to be home in time for us to eat at a normal time period for supper. Because of the appointment and leaving my mom. And I'll try to the, the sleep center and all that. And so then she's like texting me, is CVS open? What time is CVS closed? Maybe I don't I, I don't know. So I'm... Um, Still doing the medicines. My mom comes back in. She's talking to me again, and I know maybe that doesn't match. She figured my master cookie exactly, but I'm like, man, I am trying to do brain surgery here. I cannot afford to mess this up. This has to do with my mom's health, and there's so many of these pills. Boy, howdy! She takes like six different pills in the morning. She's got like um, no seven different pills. In the morning. She's got one pill she takes one hour before she eats, or two hours after she eats. And there's three of those a day, of course, because most people eat three meals. That my mom hasn't consistently been eating, so she hasn't been taking them consistently. So I'm a little worried about that. But if I talked to her about that, Mommy only ate one Saturday. Oh, no, I ate three times. Oh, she said, I may have taken them out a different day. All right. Anyway, and she says, Oh, I need to take Thursday evening. No, Mom, you already took Thursday evening. You were in here just a little while ago. You took Thursday. Oh, I did? Oh, yeah, yeah. You were over there doing this? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, good thing I didn't feel Thursday evening back up. I left Thursday. Whatever was in Thursday was... All that's left is Thursday night. She takes best at night. So she has two pills at night. She has, like, three pills in the evening. She has no pills at noon. Thank goodness. Um, then she's got fish oil she takes, which is too big to fit in the, by the uh, pill dispensers. <laughs> Anyway, fun. Yeah, fun. If you give them all some. Yeah. Anyway, so I multitask okay. Nobody multitasks great. Nobody does. Nobody. Women multitask better than men. That is scientifically proven. I don't think kids would live if women couldn't multitask. Kids would die. They absolutely would. Yes, do I think I can take care of a baby decently? Yes, I can. But no, really. The multitasking capability of women allows them to do the, so many things that they do. So amazing. Men, on the other hand, are not multitaskers. My wife claims at one time I was very good at multitasking. I just think my memory was better. I remembered the things I had to do better. It's not so good now. My memory. So, yeah. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Hope you had a great day. I know.